to our weekly environmental news report. First news. 2017's hurricane season has been more active than average, as predicted by NOAA and the Weather Channel. After Hurricane Harvey devastated Houston, Irma became the strongest Atlantic hurricane in recorded history. Now, Maria ravages through the Caribbean, leaving Puerto Rico and Dominica in ruins. Exactly why has the season been so active? Atmospheric conditions were hurricane friendly, and surface sea temperatures were warmer than usual. According to Carrie Emanuel, an atmospheric scientist at MIT, the tropical Atlantic is exhibiting high thermal potential, meaning that water is evaporating more rapidly into the atmosphere. Although the link between hurricanes and climate change is complicated, Emanuel says that anthropogenic impacts can become the primary concern for driving hurricane activity in decades to come. Future storm surges may also worsen, not only due to hurricanes, but also rising sea levels. The International Union for Conservation of Nature, or IUCN, has announced that the snow leopard's conservation status has been improved from endangered to vulnerable. These big cats, which live in the mountains of Central Asia, were first listed as endangered by the IUCN in 1972. Snow leopard researchers believe the species decline may have been slowed by conservation projects, along with the increase in protected habitat in recent decades. However, the Snow Leopard Trust, which aims to protect the animal through community projects, strongly opposes the status change and plans to challenge the decision. The Snow Leopard still faces threats from poaching, habitat loss, and climate change. According to Dr. Tom McCarthy, director of the Snow Leopard Program, the species still faces a high risk of extinction in the wild and is likely still declining, just not at the rate previously thought. A new study by Orb Media shows that about 83% of the world's tap water is contaminated by microscopic plastic fibers. Tested locations range from Europe to Jakarta to Beirut, but the U.S. had the highest contamination rate at 94% of all water samples. Although the exact health implications are currently unknown, microplastic particles can harbor chemicals or pathogens, and research on wild animals shows they are released in the body. These tiny plastic fibers can be flushed into the water system or enter into drinking water through the atmosphere or tumble dryers. According to Roland Geyer, the professor at UC Santa Barbara who led the study, we need plastics in our lives, but it is us that is doing the damage by discarding them in very careless ways. On September 14th, New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio announced mandates that will drastically cut greenhouse emissions from 14,500 existing least efficient buildings. It's still not widely understood that the number one problem when it comes to deepening climate change and creating emissions and pollution in the city, number one problem is those buildings you see behind you. We're announcing the first ever citywide mandate for building retrofits. The new rules will compel building owners to meet fossil fuel caps, which includes upgrading boilers, water heaters, roofs, and windows by 2030. Failure to comply will result in, quote, sharp penalties. The mandates will apply to all buildings over 25,000 square feet, and the municipal government will provide financing to smaller owners. This is the most ambitious program of its kind in the nation, and will likely spur 17,000 green jobs. The new targets will reduce total citywide greenhouse emissions by 7% by 2035, or the equivalent of 900,000 cars off the road. The Dubai Electricity and Water Authority announced this week that it has awarded a contract to build the world's largest concentrated solar power facility in the country. Dubai plans for 7% of its electricity to come from renewable sources by 2020 and 75% by 2050. The contract comes from an alliance of Saudi Arabia's ACWA Power and China's Shanghai Electric. At 7.3 cents per kilowatt hour, it is the lowest price for a concentrated solar power plant, which will generate 700 megawatts of power and cost about $4 billion to construct. Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid, ruler of Dubai and Prime Minister of the United Arab Emirates, said, the implementation of the world's largest concentrated solar energy project underlines the United Arab Emirates' leadership on the world stage in producing clean and renewable energy. That's all for this week's environmental news report. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and help promote environmental awareness. See you next week.